Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about maintain wages. Let's go to SQL Payroll. Go to Payroll, Maintenance, Maintain Wages. This is actually the first setting that you need to do in SQL Payroll. In Maintain Wages, by default, we already set a default wages, which is need to contribute to all the necessity according to government law. But just in case your company have different policy and you want to follow company policy, example, you there will be certain staff that do not want to contribute so, so and you company policy allowed this to happen. Then what you need to do is just click new. Maybe you just put in no so, so example. Okay. Then whenever the Attribute is tick, that means you need to contribute. So, no soft saw, that means you don't want to contribute soft saw, then it's untick. Then save. What you need to do is, after set it, go to maintain employee, go to that particular employee, go to payroll info, and you can select the wages type. You can see that the we just type we created just now no soft saw is here you can select it and during wages calculations or payroll calculations because the selection for this wages type is no contribution to soft saw then the system will not calculate example so let me check previously we already processed the payroll so i need to delete the payroll first because this is the testing company, so I need to delete it. So this is Ali, and when I directly process the payroll, and we look at Ali, and you see that there's no contribution to SOCSO. So of course you can create different different type of wages type just doing as according to what I teach using the learn mode software and select it in maintain employee. So basically this is how you do maintain wages in SQL payroll system. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.